week's edition of What's in Your Drawers. I'm going to show you a drawer that's full of nothing but tools that we do precise measurements with and then tools we use to make adjustments with and uh, it's very important. So the first tool, better known as a synchrometer. Some people call it synchrometer. I call it synchrometer. Tomato, tomato, whatever. This particular tool here is used to measure the amount of vacuum being pulled through a venturi, uh, like uh, throttle bodies, individual throttle bodies, IR injection, or even carburetors when you have multiple carburetors. This is important because you have to have them all balanced. Uh, basically, this is measuring the vacuum, and the vacuum is adjusted by the throttle blade angle. So you want to get your throttle blade angles exactly the same to balance out your engine. So you want to have this little float. As soon as it's measuring vacuum, you're going to see it float up and down in this measuring glass. So basically, that's going to be your reference point of one throttle body to another. So you want that float to be in the exact same position on every one of them. Otherwise, you'll have hesitations, backfires, engine running poorly, or just an out of balance engine it just drives you crazy. This is designed to set on top of your individual throttle bodies. So this tool is very basic but very effective. So this measuring glass here doesn't have any numbers on it, it just got lines. Those are basically for reference. It just got a, a gasket here and it sits on top of a, a velocity stack or whatever type of uh, top you have on your carburetor or your throttle bodies. And this piece here is made to be able to dial this in where you can see it. So if you set it on top of your throttle body and your float isn't moving, then you need to close this up a little bit. So basically it's losing too much vacuum for it to be able to measure. So when you close this up a little bit, you'll see this float up here and get you to a comfortable level where you can see it well. Well, that wraps it up for this week's edition of What's in Your Drawers. Feel free to show us what's in your drawers.